Efficiency. God is my source. I thank God for my family. Smile. Look at y'all. Y'all are so cute. Yeah. Okay. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Shalita Nicole and I'm just being me. Before we get started, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. All right, guys, let's get into it. So today, guys, today is Saturday. Happy Saturday. Today is like a chill day for me. I'm cleaning up and I have a meeting to go to. Later on, my family is getting together and we are going to be doing a family fun night because my sister is in town and we are getting together food folks fun let's go and i'm excited so yeah so let's talk about this so y'all i had to put something on my head because right now things with me and my hair we're a mystery okay because i was really looking like i belong on the cast of roots okay so until i can get myself together baby this is just what it's gonna be and today i'm gonna let y'all hang out with me a little bit you know when we all come together baby it is all good do y'all hear me but yeah i know it's been a minute i know that i have been missing in action i've been working i've been busy but i've just been trying to gather myself oh lord here go the sister chat blowing up honey look at them everybody on there honey oh lord here we go please hold all right guys i am ready to hit these streets really quickly i think i look cute what y'all i'm about to let me work out a little bit. Go ahead. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Go ahead. It ain't my birthday. I wish it was. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Burning a couple calories before I leave. Ooh, ooh. So this right here is my set for today. It don't take a lot of this. It don't take a lot at all. You know? Just a, a here and a there, baby. That's just move your body through to get the rest, okay? That's all you need. Just a squirt or two and do like that. And it'll be everywhere. <laughs> all right, I'll be back. So y'all, let me tell y'all about this bag, okay? I've been rocking this this week. Shoot, this is week two, actually. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. A client of mine blessed me with this Tory Burch bag. She she gifted me this. Okay. Y'all, she gifted me this. That was so sweet. Like, what? Yes, nothing but favor, blessings. Oh, that honey. Yes, Lord. Hi. Y'all, look who's here. My sister and her husband. There, we're here. We're here to visit our cousin. Yes. She know who she is. Hey, Here we honey. come, girl. Here we come. We're on our way to you. All right, guys. I'm in my element, trying to get things popping. My little fro is froing. <laughs> okay. Hey, guys. I am here. We're about to get this part started. Yeah. Bye. Okay. I'll just place it. I want, want y'all to kind of stand here and follow to this stuff. What y'all doing? Y'all making communion? Yes. Fellowship. Oh, do I got it? Yeah. 
Not you having me your uh, your uh, Y'all can sit down if y'all want to. I have something to say. Please turn the music down. Alexa, turn it down. I just want to say all the way. Everybody, I just want to say. And I'm so excited that we are together as a family. Yes. Coming together as one. It means so much too. Your meat is burning. Huh? Your meat is burning. Okay guys, so what I'm doing, I'm just throwing a little dip together. Like we having some goodies today and I'm just doing a little baby dip for us. And just, we about to eat, baby. Let's do a fit check, first of all. She got the cheetah on the head. I said, well, what? The wig. Oh, yeah, when I came, okay, it was like, oh, crap, that was a bird. Over here? Right. Oh, yeah. Because we had some in our backyard. They were over there. He showed up. I like him. Here we go, right here. He ain't respond to us, but I told you. All right, we got the collection plate. We got the collection plate. You got to bring up my Oh, I want to see it. Come here. Oh, you bought? But why my brother hugged me like a bear though? <laughs> Man. Yeah, what do you mean? Huh? Oh, it's listen, just look past it. <laughs> I'm 30 now. <laughs> So I'm gonna just be scooting around all night. Do you love me? Are you riding? I'm gonna break that. Uh, it up. So we have more. Do you have that? Okay. Look at these two. Hey, my sticky winkies. Look at my sticky Today has been 
Hold on, hold on. Should we go in alphabetical? Yeah, Brian. Oh, I'm sorry. That would be Arnold. Amazing. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, 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 I'm sorry.
Same we got roasted taters. And let me tell you about them potatoes. And baby, you we got that good old homemade chicken and dumplings. Well, my sister's in town, so tonight we had like a little game family night the night before. And then today, you know, went to church um, and had dinner. My mama threw down. So we like, mama, what we need to bring? She said, just come. And that's my mama child. She be doing her thing. But... Today we was in church and one of the scriptures that was read that was read today and I am not in no form or fashion trying to preach. I just want to when I get it get something or if I hear something that's like really really good and tasteful as far as the word is concerned, I definitely want to share because it definitely resonated with me today. You know how sometimes you um hear something or you actually do something and you know you can do or hear it a couple of times but it's that moment when you actually get the knowledge so it's called revelation knowledge of some you know something out of the word so today the scripture was read and i said wow i was like i was just like wow so with my in my wow moment i said i'm gonna that's something that i'm gonna share so this right this scripture today really really stuck out to me. Like the word today was like amazing. Um so today uh one of the scriptures that was read was 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9. It says, "But he said to me, this is what the Lord had said to Paul, I want you to listen to it, okay? My grace is sufficient for you, okay? For my power is made perfect in weakness. His power is made perfect in weakness. Let's use Jesus on the cross. That moment when Jesus was on the cross and he was at a weak and vulnerable state, weak and vulnerable moment. But y'all listen, with Jesus dying on the cross, he, he was weak, he looked weak in that moment. But y'all, after those three days, guess what happened? He rose from that state that he was in. He was dead, okay? But he woke up and rose. So that's where God's power was manifested in him rising. Everything that he had went through, everything that happened uh, with him getting the stripes for us being healed, for us being delivered, for us being set free, that in Jesus' weakness, that's where God's power was able to get in there and do what it needed to do. So even at using that as an example, my grace is sufficient for you. For my power is made perfect in weakness. I think that is, it's like, wow. Oh, okay, Jesus, I get it. <laughs> but no, like that just really stuck out to me. And it's a couple other scriptures that we, had crossed over to, let's see, 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 9 verse 8. So I'm going to turn there. Let's see. It's not too far. Okay, here we go. You know, we're today the, the service was God being everything that we need. God being our source in anything in life financially physically spiritually in everything god being your source okay so um second corinthians chapter 9 verse 8 it reads and god is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things at all times 
having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. That was good to me. It really, really was. God is my source. You know, a lot of people look at, and shoot, I, I am definitely piggybacking and sharing some of the things that my father uh, teach today at church because it was really, really good. Like, I was like, okay. I was like, yes, I, it was just, a, oh, it was just good. It was just good. I, I can't speak for everybody, but y'all this year, this is my year. This is my year. I decree and I declare this is definitely my year. But guess what? The things that I am hoping and desiring from God, they're not just going to come to me. The things that you're desiring and hoping from God, they're just not going to come to you. You have to do your part. You have to do the work. Okay? And when I say the work, faith without works is dead. So just because you have the faith, you have to exercise that faith. You have to put some, you have to back, back it up with the word of God. Okay, I got faith, but you have to back it up with the word of God. That's just like having a car. Okay, you had to have a car. Oh yeah, you can have a really nice car, but guess what? It's not going to go anywhere unless you have some gas in it. You feel me? So faith. Have faith, but at the same time, have the word of God to make your your faith move and push forward and do what we want it to do. You feel me? So, yeah. Um, let me see. Another scripture that I had jotted down as well was 1 Peter 5, verse 10. Hold on, let me see. This thing, I said, oh, this thing just bless me. And I don't know, y'all, just I am so encouraged, and I am I'm so encouraged, and I'm so excited because it's not like I don't have the tools and I don't know what to do to make my situation different, to change my outcome of things. Because if I want God to do something for me, y'all, it's not going to change unless I get in there. I'm trusting. I'm believing. I'm speaking. I'm praying. I'm praising. If you're not doing that, what do you expect God to do for you if you're not willing to put in to study, to praise God, to worship him? What, what, are you, what, what do you expect? It's when I give God my everything and give God my all. God, I'm, I'm crying out. I'm, I'm praying. I'm praising. I'm pressing my way through God. I just, I just want this to, you know, if you're not doing that, you're just sitting there and ex you're, you have an expectancy, but you're not doing anything to make it do what it got to do, y'all. So 1 Peter 5 and 10, let's see, let me find 1 Peter 5 and 10, here we go. 1 Peter 5 verse 10, and the God of all grace who called you to his eternal glory in Christ after you have suffered a little while will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. Okay. So those moments when we have a moment, those moments when things are not going our way, that those moments when it's just not looking how we plan for it to look. It says, and I, and the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, after you, after you have went through, after you have been through the fire, the storm, the rain, the winds, all of that. It says, he himself will restore you, make you strong, firm, 
and steadfast. What? That's what I'm talking about. So I think that was the last scripture that I had, guys. And I, don't, I wasn't trying to be here before you long. I just wanted to share those little nuggets. Always remember, guys, God is my all sufficiency. God is my source. God is my source. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. I pray you all have an amazing week. God bless you. And until next time, bye. Oh, and this song that I'm listening to by Maverick City, I think it's called Firm Foundation. Y'all, that is my song right now, honey. That thing is on repeat. Christ is the firm foundation. I love it. Rain fell, winds blew, but my house was built on you. Christ is the firm foundation beautiful song oh my god y'all repeat do you hear me it's on repeat he won't fail hallelujah he will not fail regardless of what it looked like regardless of how it seems god is not gonna fail he can't fail he cannot fail hallelujah hallelujah that's all i got guys that's all i got i just praise god for being who he is in my life and work it. Work the word, y'all. Work the word. I'm really, really, really getting into working the word of God. Is it easy? Nope. But I am at the point in my relationship with God where I am literally, I'm hungering and thirsting for his word. Thank you.